This week, we will be covering our Grade 3 unit. Within the Grade 3 unit, we will look over one poem with a moral called A Bird's Lesson by understanding what is meant by the word choices, how to interpret the moral of the poem, and how to apply it to real life. We will also be covering the properties of mathematic operations. Let's begin the English lesson by reading the poem twice. A Bird's Lesson A little bird with feathers brown sat singing on a tree. The song was very soft and low, but sweet as it could be. And all the people passing by looked up to see the bird, whose singing was the sweetest that they'd ever heard. But all the bright eyes looked in vain, for Birdie was so small, and with a modest dark brown coat, he made no show at all. Dear Papa, little Gracie said, where can this birdie be? If I could only sing like that, I'd sit where folks could see. I hope my little girl will learn a lesson from that bird. And try to do what good she can, not to be seen nor heard. This birdie is content to sit, unnoticed by the way, and sweetly sing his marker's praise from dawn to close of day. So live, my child, to do some good, but life be short or long. Though people may forget your looks, they'll not forget your song. A little bird with feathers brown sat singing on a tree. The song was very soft and low, but sweet as it could be. And all the people passing by looked up to see the bird, whose singing was the sweetest that they'd ever heard. But all the bright eyes looked in vain, for Birdie was so small, and with a modest dark brown coat, he made no show at all. Dear Papa, little Gracie said, where can this birdie be? If I could only sing like that, I'd sit where folks could see. I hope my little girl will learn a lesson from this bird and try to do what good she can, not to be seen nor heard. This birdie is content to sit unnoticed by the way and sweetly sing his marker's praise from dawn to close of day. So live, my child, to do some good let life be short or long, though people may forget your looks, they'll not forget your song. Now that we are well versed in the poem, let's begin examining some of the words. The word vain can mean conceited or overconfident, but in the context of, but all the bright eyes looked in vain, the word vain means without avail or useless. It should be noted that the word was chosen in a poem about modesty. Keeping all this in mind, let's read the poem again. A little birdie with feathers brown sat singing on a tree. The song was very soft and low, but sweet as it could be. And all the people passing by looked up to see the bird, whose singing was the sweetest that they'd ever heard. But all the bright eyes looked in vain, for birdie was so small, and with a modest dark brown coat, he made no show at all. Dear Papa, little Gracie said, where can this birdie be? If I could only sing like that, I'd sit where folks could see. I hope my little girl will learn a lesson from that bird, and try to do what good she can, not to be seen nor heard. This birdie is content to sit unnoticed by the way, and sweetly sing his marker's praise from dawn to close of day. So live, my child, to do some good. Let life be short or long. Though people may forget your looks, they'll not forget your song. Now that we have looked over at over the vocabulary choice of the poem, let's think about what it means. When deconstructing poems or fables, you must ask yourself the following questions. 1. What is the speaker typifying? Or rather, what is the lesson they want to present? 2. What were the actions taken? And 3. What were the consequences of those actions?
Keeping those three questions in mind, let's read the poem again. A little bird with feathers brown sat singing on a tree. The song was very soft and low, but sweet as it could be. And all the people passing by looked up to see the bird, whose singing was the sweetest that they'd ever heard. But all the bright eyes looked in vain, for Birdie was so small, and with a modest dark brown coat, he made no show at all. Dear Papa, little Gracie said, where can this birdie be? If I could only sing like that, I'd sit where folks could see. I hope my little girl will learn a lesson from that bird, and try to do what good she can, not to be seen nor heard. This birdie is content to sit, unnoticed by the way, and sweetly sing his marker's praise from dawn to close of day. So live, my child, to do some good, let life be short or long, though people may forget your looks, they'll not forget your song. Now, let's go through deconstructing this poem together. 1. What is the speaker typifying? Or, what lesson is the speaker trying to present? The speaker is showing us a situation in which someone, a bird in this case, has a wonderful talent and yet cannot be recognized for it. 2. What actions were taken? The little girl, Gracie, asked her father why the bird didn't want praise for its singing, because if she could do something that well, she would want to be appreciated for it. Three, what were the consequences of those actions? There were not physical reprimands. However, her father did express, express a disdain for that way of thinking. Life is more than being good at things or even gaining recognition for them, but rather being satisfied with what you are doing. Since we have thoroughly examined the poem, let's read it one last time before moving on to math. A little bird with feathers brown sat singing on a tree. The song was very soft and low, but sweet as it could be. And all the people passing by looked up to see the bird, whose singing was the sweetest that they had ever heard. But all the bright eyes looked in vain, for Birdie was so small, and with a modest dark brown coat, he made no show at all. Dear Papa, little Gracie said, where can this birdie be? If I could only sing like that, I'd sit where folks could see. I hope my little girl will learn a lesson from that bird, and try to do what good she can not to be seen nor heard. This birdie is content to sit, unnoticed by the way, and sweetly sing his marker's praise from dawn to close of day. So live, my child, to do some good, let life be short or long, though people may forget your looks, they'll not forget your song. As mentioned before, we are learning properties of mathematic operations. Though the name sounds complicated, it is in fact actually something we do in all forms of math. Some math operations have properties or axioms that can make them easier to work with and or save you time. The properties of addition are as follows. 1. Closure. When all answers fall into the original set. If you add two even numbers, the answer is still an even number. An example of this would be 2 plus 2 is equal to four, or 6. Therefore, 
the set of even numbers is closed under addition. If you add two odd numbers, the answer is not an odd number. An example of this would be 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Therefore, the set of odd numbers is not closed under addition. Commutative, when the order does not make a difference in the result. A plus B is the same as B plus A, or 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2. 3. Associative. When the grouping does not make a difference in the result. An example of this would be brackets A plus B brackets plus C is the same as A plus brackets B plus C brackets. 4. Identity element. Any number, positive or negative, added to 0 are the original number. An example would be 4 plus 0 is equal to 4, or negative 6 plus 0 is equal to negative 6. 5. Additive inverse. The opposite, or negative, of the number, any number plus its additive inverse equals 0. So 4 plus negative 4 is equal to 0. Let's look at some addition equations and determine what property they represent. A bracket 6 plus 2 bracket plus 3 is equal to 2 plus bracket 6 plus 3 bracket. This is an associative property when the grouping does not make a difference. B 12 plus 4 equals 16. This is a closure property when all the numbers are in the same set, in this case, even numbers. C, negative 9 plus 0 equals negative 9. This is an identity element property. Any number, positive or negative, added to 0 equals that number. D, 8 plus negative 8 equals 0. This is an additive inverse property. The opposite, or negative number, added to itself always equals 0. E. 7 plus 8 is equal to 8 plus 7. This is a commutative property, when the order does not matter. Let's move on to the properties of multiplication. 1. Closure. When all answers fall into the original set. If you multiply two even numbers, the answer is still an even number. An example of this would be 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Therefore, the set of even numbers is closed under multiplication. If you multiply two odd numbers, the answer is an odd number. An example of this would be 3 times 5 equals 15. Therefore, the set of odd numbers is closed under multiplication. 2. Commutative. When the order does not make any difference. A multiplied by B is the same as B multiplied by A. Or, 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5 multiplied by 4. 3. Associative. When the grouping does not make any, any difference. 2 multiplied by bracket 5 multiplied by 6 bracket is the same as 6 multiplied by bracket 5 multiplied by 2 bracket. 4. Identity element. Any number multiplied by 1 gives the original number. An example of this would be 3 multiplied by 1 equals 3. Now let's look at some multiplication equations and determine what property they represent. A, 3 times 2 is equal to 2 times 3. This is a commutative property, when the order does not matter. B. 7 times 1 equals 7. This is an identity element property. Any number multiplied by 1 gives the original number. C. 6 times 2 equals 12. 
This is a closure property when all the numbers fall into the original set, in this case, even numbers. D, three times bracket four times two bracket equals four times bracket two times three bracket. This is an associative property when the grouping does not matter. Do you notice any similarities between the addition and multiplication properties? With the exclusion of the additive inverse property, all multiplication properties are the same as the, as the addition properties. Let's review both the addition and multiplication properties again. Properties of addition are as follows. 1. Closure. When all answers fall into the original set, if you add two even numbers, the answer is still an even number. An example of this would be 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Therefore, the set of even numbers is closed under addition. If you add two odd numbers, the answer is not an odd number. An example of this would be 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Therefore, the set of odd numbers is not closed under addition. 2. Commutative. When the order does not make any difference in the result. a plus b is the same as b plus a. Or 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2. 3. Associative. When the grouping does not make any difference in the result. Bracket a plus b, bracket plus c, is the same as a plus bracket b plus c bracket. 4. Identity element. Any number, positive or negative, added to 0 is just the same, is just the original number. An example of this would be 4 plus 0 is equal to 4, or negative 6 plus 0 is equal to 6, negative 6. 5. Additive inverse. The opposite of any number. Any number plus its additive inverse equals 0. An example of this would be 4 plus negative 4 equals 0. 5. Let's move on to the properties of multiplication. 1. Closure. When all answers fall into the original set. If you multiply two even numbers, the answer is still an even number. An example of this would be 2 times 4 equals 8. Therefore, the set of even numbers is closed under multiplication. If you multiply two odd numbers, the answer is an odd number. An example of this would be 3 multiplied by 5 equals 15. Therefore, the set of odd numbers is closed under multiplication. 2. Commutative. When the order does not make any difference. A multiplied by B is the same as B multiplied by A, or 4 multiplied by 5 is the same as 5 multiplied by 4. 3. Associative. When the grouping does not make any difference, 2 multiplied by bracket 5 multiplied by 6 is the same as 6 multiplied by bracket 5 multiplied by 2 bracket. 4. Identity element. Any number multiplied by 1 gives the original number. An example of this would be 3 multiplied by 1 equals 3. 3. The properties of addition are as follows. 1. Closure. When all answers fall into the original set, if you add two even numbers, the answer is still an even number. An example of this would be 2 plus 4 equals 6. Therefore, the set of even numbers is closed under addition. If you add two odd numbers, the answer is not an odd number. An example of this would be 3 plus 5 equals 8. 
Therefore, the set of odd numbers is not closed under addition. 2. Commutative. When the order does not make any difference in the result. a plus b is the same as b plus a. Or, 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2. 3. Associative. When the grouping does not make any difference in the result. Bracket a plus b bracket plus c is the same as a plus bracket b plus c bracket. 4. Identity element. Any number, positive or negative, added to 0 is just the original number. An example of this would be 4 plus 0 is equal to 4, or negative 6 plus 0 is equal to negative 6. 5. Additive inverse. The opposite, negative or negative, of the number. Any number plus its additive inverse equals 0. An example of this would be 4 plus negative 4 is equal to 0. Let's move on to the properties of multiplication. 1. Closure. When all answers fall into the original set. If you multiply two even numbers, the answer is still an even number. An example of this would be 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. Therefore, the set of even numbers is closed under multiplication. If you multiply two odd numbers, the answer is an odd number. An example of this would be 3 multiplied by 5 equals 15. Therefore, the set of odd numbers is closed under multiplication. 2. Commutative. When the order does not make any difference, a multiplied by b is the same as b multiplied by a, or 4 multiplied by 5 is the same as 5 multiplied by 4. Associative. When the grouping does not make any difference, 2 multiplied by bracket 5 multiplied by 6 bracket is the same as 6 multiplied by bracket 5 multiplied by 2. 4. Identity element. Any number multiplied by 1 gives the original number. An example of this would be 3 multiplied by 1 equals 3. The properties of addition are as follows. 1. Closure. When all answers fall into the original set. If you add two even numbers, the answer is still an even number. An example of this would be 2 plus 4 equals 6. Therefore, the set of even numbers is closed under addition. If you add two odd numbers, the answer is not an odd number. A sample of this would be 3 plus 5 equals 8. Therefore, the set of odd numbers is not closed under addition. 2. Commutative. When the order does not make any difference in the result. a plus b is the same as b plus a, or 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2. 3. Associative. When the grouping does not make any difference in the result. A bracket a plus b bracket plus c is the same as a plus bracket b plus c bracket. 4. Identity element. Any number, positive or negative, added to 0 is just the original number. An example of this would be 4 plus 0 equals 4, or negative 6 plus 0 equals negative 6. 5. Additive inverse. The opposite or negative of the number. Any number plus its additive inverse equals 0. An example of this would be 4 plus negative 4 equals 0. Let's move on to the properties of multiplication. 1. Closure. When all answers fall into the original set. If you multiply two even numbers, the answer is still an even number. An example of this would be 2 times 4 equals 8. Therefore, the set of even numbers is closed under multiplication. If you multiply two odd numbers, the answer is an odd number. An example of this would be 3 multiplied by 5 equals 15. Therefore, the set of odd numbers is closed under multiplication. 2. Commutative. When the order does not make any difference, a multiplied by b is the same as b multiplied by a. Or, 4 multiplied by 5 is the same as 5 multiplied by 4. 3. Associative. When the grouping does not make any difference, 2 multiplied by bracket 5 multiplied by 6 bracket is the same as 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 bracket. Identity element. Any number multiplied by 1 gives the original number. An example of this would be 3 multiplied by 1 equals 3. 